What's up guys? Arizona's Arcade Heroes here. Now, just recently I had a chance to pick up one of these Data East Gamer 5 miniature gaming consoles. It's a portable gaming system and it's got eight um, Data East classic titles on there. You can see, um, you know, it's got Burger Time, it's got Karate Champ, it's got Heavy Barrel, it's got Bad Dudes, it's got B-Wings, it's got Side Pocket, it's got Caveman Ninja. So a lot of the games that are on here are actually on the arcade one-ups, but um, I looked all over YouTube for a review on these things, and I could only find like one review, and it was like pitch dark, and I couldn't see the machine, so I went ahead and picked this up, and I wanted to do a quick review on this for you guys. Um, now, I got it pretty cheap. Um, I bought it off of, well, I actually found it at Goodwill for just a couple bucks. It was still in the box, which was bizarre. Um, at the Goodwill by our house gets a lot of unopened stuff, and I found it there, but I did see that they do sell it at Target and Walmart for about 25 to 30 bucks, depending on which store you're at. But I wanted to kind of show you guys what this is all about. Um, so it basically has those eight classic games, and then it's got 220 other games, which are just like random games. I don't think they're actually arcade games. They're just totally random. But uh, this thing runs on four AAA batteries. So I'm going to open it up, put some batteries in it. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So here it is, the Data East Gamer 5 My Arcade. Um, it looks like there's a little screen cover on here. So I'm going to pop that off and then let's fire this bad boy up. So now we are on and you guys can see there we've got Bad Dudes, we've got Breakthrough, Caveman Ninja, Heavy Barrel, Side Pocket, B-Wings, Karate Champ, Burger Time. And then it looks like if you keep going on the list, it's got like just some random games. I mean, has anyone ever heard of Curly Monkey <laughs> or, or, you know, Superhero? I think these are just generic um, arcade games that, you know, you play for free on the computer or whatever. But at least they're on here. So if you want to play some extra games, they're on here. But I'm really just going to kind of focus on these Data East games. So let's go and let's check out Bad Dudes. So we're going to go to that. Now, I love this game on the arcade. I've got this on my arcade one up on my main emulator from Data East, and it's a great game. And uh, so here's Bad Dudes. So right away, um, I can tell you right now, this is not the arcade version of Bad Dudes. This looks like it is the Nintendo version, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, still a fun game to play. So let's check it out and see how it plays. Um, you can see we've got the directional pad here, and then we have an A and a B button. There's a reset button to go back to the main menu, a start. We've got our volume here, and then our power on and off. So pretty basic machine. So let's skip through that, and we'll get right into the game. Okay, so you see, it, it it's bad dudes, all right. And I actually had this game for the Nintendo Entertainment System, so I can definitely confirm for you that this is 100% the Nintendo version of the game, which, in my opinion, is a little misleading just because it makes it look like it's an arcade machine on the box, and then you open it up and play it, and it's Nintendo, which we all know when Nintendo did their version of the games, the graphics were a little poor, the music was a little poor, so... This is Bad Dudes. I'm sure a lot of you have already played Bad Dudes, so I'm not going to get too far into the game, and we'll go to the next game here. So, the next one down on the list is going to be Breakthrough. So let's check out Breakthrough. This is another one that a lot of people had on their Nintendo. So we're going to go in here, and this one kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, I don't know, like Blaster Master, that sort of thing. Uh, except you don't get out of the car. Um, CC Breakthrough, another Nintendo Entertainment System version of the game. So not super exciting on that one, but that's okay. So uh, now that you saw that, let's go back. Let's go to Caveman Ninja. Now this one is on the Burger Time Arcade 1-Up, so I'm almost positive it's going to be the Nintendo version. And yep, so we can just pretty much assume that most of these Data East games are going to be the Nintendo version of the game. So we'll go into Caveman Ninja here. And... There's our Caveman Ninja. So um, I never really was a big fan of this game. I, I didn't play it. Um, I know what it is. I've seen it, but not a big fan. But hey, who knows? Maybe I'll play it every now and then now that I have this handheld machine. Um, I could look like my screen got a little bit blurry here. Let me fix that. Okay. So there is Caveman Ninja. Nintendo version on the My Arcade. So let's go back. And then we'll go to Heavy Barrel. Now, Heavy Barrel is a cool one. I kind of like this. This one reminds me of like your Mercs, your Commando, kind of mixed with Contra a little bit, except it's up and down instead of side scroller. So let's go in and check out. 
this one and there I am parachuting into the level. All right, so we've got our pistol and this one's kind of crazy. I remember the controls being kind of tricky on the Nintendo. Where's some dudes that I can shoot? Come on guys, where are you? There they are. I'm trying to play this through the phone view so it's a little bit trickier because I can't quite see all the bullets. Oh, he got me. The quickest death ever in the history of this game. So there it is guys, you can see what it looks like. Again, another Nintendo version of the game. Uh, nothing really to write home about, but still at least it's on there and it's a game that we know of and have heard of and played. So back to the main menu. Now we're gonna check out Side Pocket. Now this one probably in my opinion has the most replay value of all these games just cause it's pool. So, you know, you can play it as many times as you want. So let's break here. All right, so we've all played Side Pocket. There's a, a ton of games like this on the main arcade emulator that I have on my arcade one up. So it's just your typical type pool game. Let's go up here. I'll at least take one shot for you guys before I quit. So let's try to hit this purple one in the corner pocket here. All right, cool, I at least sunk a shot. So there's your Side Pocket. Now we're gonna go to B-Wings. Let's check that one out. All right, I don't think I've actually ever played B-Wings, so I'm just gonna roll with it and figure out what to do. All right, so B-Wings looks like it is your typical 1944 type airplane, Space Invaders type shooter where you're flying up. Uh, never was a really a big fan of these type of games, but hey, if this is your thing, it's on here. Um, you can see it's, again, the Nintendo type style graphics, and I think you guys can hear the sound. It, even sounds like Nintendo but what I do like about the system is it has a really clear screen it's very well backlit it's like it's an LCD monitor so it's got a clear screen the controls seem to work really well very responsive the buttons have a little click to them so you can tell when you're pushing them so at the price point it's at it's not a bad deal for you know as far as quality rise really lightweight system not a lot of weight to it so there's B wings let's go back and check out karate champ now this one's kind of weird because on the arcade one up version of this game you have both joysticks so you can actually play it the way it's meant to be played I'm guessing this is gonna be just like the Nintendo where you've got punch and kick and yep that's what it looks like I always laughed at that guy on the top it looks like Burt Reynolds or something refereeing the match so boom shot to the face point white my favorite one actually on Nintendo was the I think it was Kung Fu the kind of had similar graphics okay what do I do now I'm turned around and I got kicked in the butt so Kung Fu was my favorite, the one where you jump over the snakes and you can actually move around a lot quicker and stuff. This one was always kind of boring, but I did have it. So there's Karate Champ. And then I believe the last one here we want to check out is Burger Time. Whoops, I went one menu too far. So guys, I'm not a big Burger Time fan either. I know a lot of people got into this new arcade one-up cabinet um, with the, you know, the extended burger riser on the top. And I just, I just don't think it's a fun game. Um, I was born in the late 70s too when this game was was popular and I just thought it was pretty slow. I mean, I wasn't a Donkey Kong fan either, which is kind of similar to this. I more liked like your side scrollers and stuff like that. So I didn't really get into these kind of games. This guy's gonna hunt me down. I'm gonna salt you. Oh, I peppered him. Oh, and he got me. So you guys can see it's, it's not even the arcade version again of Burger Time. It's just your typical Nintendo Burger Time, but Hey, if you like Burger Time, here's a way to play it on the go. So I'm not going to play too much more of this, as you guys can tell. It's it's kind of a boring game, but, you know, here it is, Burger Time. So then, as you guys saw, I'm not going to go into super high detail on this. Um, it is kind of a pain. There's 220 games, so you've literally got to sit here and scroll through every single game if you want to get to it. So just a ton of games to pick from, guys. Um, you know, I haven't actually heard of any of these games. In Invisible Girl, Jumping Kid, Knock It. You know, but they're just they're just games. So you can have some fun with it if you're on a road trip or if you're bored somewhere in a waiting room and you want to check it out. It's got the controls, so it's not like playing them on your phone. But you guys see, just I just picked a random game here just to show you. You know, it's just totally random. But anyways, guys, so. 
you know, basically for the pickup on this, I got it dirt cheap or I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I've seen it, you know, like I said, in Walmart and Target, it goes for about 20 to 30 bucks. I think you can pick them up on Facebook, Marketplace, Craigslist for a lot cheaper, but this is the Data East 220 game, eight Data East title game, My Arcade Gamer 5. So now you guys can see how this thing works and what it looks like. So thanks for watching Arcade Heroes. Please remember to like and subscribe. We will have much more content coming out very soon. So thanks again, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.